Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles X. As you can see we are currently in Oblivia and I am at level 21 and a half. Lau is almost level 22. I wanted to get up to level 22 but I have work this weekend uh, on Friday and Saturday. Today is Friday as I'm recording this. I believe this is going up Saturday. But uh, because I have work I've lost a lot of time. Like this came up just like the past two days I got asked to work. Uh, I was not supposed to originally. But uh, because of that, I'm short on time, so I don't have enough time to grind up. I wanted to get to level 22, so I got as close as I could, and now I'm running out of time, and I need to record now, or else I'm not going to have enough videos to go up on Saturday. Uh, I'm standing right here because I wanted to show you guys where I was grinding up levels, in case any of you wanted to. Uh, this is a really nice little Grex spot. The, the Grex is constantly respawn as well. They're all level 17 to 20. They give like 70 to 100 experience. And uh, it takes a little while, but leveling up goes pretty quick, and they're not... They're not like pushovers, you don't go and fight one and you're done with the fight in like 30 seconds. It takes about 2-3 minutes to kill a Grex, but you get decent EXP for it, and I've never lost a match. They never even get me close to death usually. Sometimes if I fight like 3 of them at once, then one person will end up going down by the time I've killed the third one. But anyways, yeah, all of that aside, uh, we're going to continue on with Chapter 5, and to do that I should probably grab my Wii U pad, which I forgot to put next to me. Alright, now I have my Wii U pad within my grasp. I accidentally hit the jump button on it. But anyways, uh, let me look at this and see where we're going. Uh, actually, straight in that direction. The turrets are all in that direction. Which, we have the stupid golden arrows on the minimap. I don't even know why I looked. I just wanted to have a general idea on the map as a whole where it goes. We're also going to run into another probe site as we go. We've only got two probes in Oblivia right now. I don't know what I'm going to do with Oblivia. I don't know if I'm going to go like how I want to go with Noctilum and put down a bunch of research probes. Or if I'm going to just put down a bunch of mining or storage probes. I don't know. Uh, I still haven't done that. I haven't messed around with the probes at all since the last time I did it on screen. I need to do that off screen in my spare time to up the amount of Meranium and money I get. But anyways, let's uh, let's get a move on. We're going to have to go against this little uh, Grex plane I've been farming for EXP. Hopefully I'm roughly at where I need to be in levels. Uh, in chapter, there are 12 chapters like I mentioned before. And we're in chapter 5. In chapter 4, the last boss of chapter 4 was level... um. 16 and I'm now level I'm five levels ahead of where I was at uh, Where the boss ended on that so I assume five levels. I feel like that's at least this early in a game That's roughly how far I should jump ahead in levels. I Say early in the game, but we've if there's only 12 chapters like in terms of the main story We've got to be at about the mid game This game is actually a lot shorter than I thought it looks like they're gonna be focusing I'm pretty sure these are enemies these flowers. I don't know why they're not popping up Maybe some of them are some of them aren't but uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, this game is ending sooner than I expected. I knew that this was a turtle thing. I freaking knew it. It's not a turtle. I keep calling it a turtle because it has a shell, but it's one of those stupid bug things. I knew it as soon as I saw it, but I didn't even comment on it. Anyways, this thing is pretty weak. We'll be able to beat it easily. But yeah, uh, it seems like this game is a lot more open exploration than the last one was. Xenoblade Chronicles didn't have a... It had a good amount of open exploration, not a lot. It wasn't like, it wasn't severely open world. You didn't, it wasn't a game that you got thinking, yeah, I'm going to spend a lot of time working on just exploring the overworld and all that and having it be an exploration game. Whereas this game seems to be uh, more exploration based than story based. I feel like Xenoblade Chronicles, the first one, was a lot more exploration based, or not exploration based, a lot more story based than this one is. But maybe that's just me. I'm still like just now getting into the mid game, I guess. But I definitely feel like uh, the first Xenoblade Chronicles was more more into the story than this one is. This one is more into the free roaming. They both have a good amount of both, but it's just one of them puts the other, like, focuses more on the other than, you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say. This one focuses more on exploration, and the first Xenoblade focused more on the story. At least that's how I feel so far. But, you know, I like them both. Not really sure. I'd still say that I like the uh, first Xenoblade more than this one so far. I do like me some free roaming, but I like story and plot even more so. Because that's just a, that's one of my biggest draws to a game. One of the most important things to me in a game is the story and the plot and the characters and their interaction and all that. That's the most important thing to me in a game. And then after that, I don't know, what would come after that? Uh, well. Putting aside, man, they got like three scales here. It's pretty impressive. Uh, hmm, what would it be after that? 
After that, the most important thing to me... I consider the plot, like the story progression, to also tie in with the characters and the character development. I'll put those in the same kind of bin. So that's my uh, that's my first pick. Is this a... Uh... Dang, these things are high level. Cliffside Camp. No, it's further past this thing. Wait a minute. Where's this? Uh, there's a probe this way. Is it that way? Uh, no, more like that way. That leads right into the chasm, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I gotta be careful with all these high-level freaks. They're gonna take me down in one shot. But, um... Whew. Oh, yeah, these are all Xeno. Oh, no, that thing saw me. I didn't think that thing would see me from right here. Oh, my goodness, it does so much. Yeah, we're all dead. I didn't realize that these were uh, ganglions hanging around here. I didn't think that thing would see me right there, but it did. So that's unfortunate. But anyways, what was I even saying? Totally lost track of what I was saying. Hey, it rains in Oblivia. Did not know that. How far back am I? Uh, fairly far back. Not too horribly, though. Anyways, let's let's get to these turrets and start taking down these turrets. Like six minutes in, we haven't even done anything yet. Some level 19s I could take down, definitely. Oh, I was talking about what's most important to me in a game. Uh, definitely the plot and the characters is first. Uh, second most important thing, that's all ganglion. Yeah, ganglion mechs and whatnot, it seems. I guess I need to curve around them by going left more, probably, is what I'm thinking. That's what it looks like. What the heck is that thing running towards us? Oh, that thing saw me? Did it turn around? It turned around when I didn't think it would. I'm probably about to die again. Level 25 Grexes. Dang, that's high level. What the heck is that thing doing? Ah, oh, it hit me from way back there, really. Look at that thing. Alright, so I obviously just need to completely run the exact opposite direction of that. <laughs> I kept getting close to it thinking, oh, I'll just sneak by, but that obviously doesn't work. I need to, like, go way out this way. How do we have a camp so close to those high-level ganglions? These were blue the last time I walked by. Now they're red. That's weird. Running into a lot of, like, level 20 Grexes. We've got to make a... That is mechanical. Look at that. Is that, like, a ship that fell down or something? Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. Aeroid Plane. Don't want to be fighting any of these super high-level Grexes. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Let me hit up this. What is it? Archaeological 1? Sweet. I think I have Archaeological Level 2, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, something I forgot to do is uh, my class leveled up while I was grinding. So we're going to change my class again. Do do. Go to Classes. And our next one is Duelist. An advanced samurai gunner shifts the focus more towards offense, provides bonuses to HP and me melee attack, uh, reach rank 10 to master this class's weapons. So we're going to be doing this. Change my class to that. Not bad. Also, I wanted to go to Lao's Arts and turn off any TP. He has one TP art. Right there it is. I want to replace this TP art with something else. A uh, Javelin. Oh, I've even got his level 3. Well, that's a bit of a waste. But uh, I'm going to change this to something that does not have uh, TP usage, because then he has no TP using attacks. And if he has no TP using attacks, then he'll get his TP up to like 3,000 and be able to get me up. Because he keeps getting to 3,000, and then every now and then he uses this attack, uh, whatever it's called, and Raijin. He uses Raijin, and then it takes away like 1,000 of his TP, and then he can't get me up if I go down. So I would rather... Uh just try to buster. Deals electric damage, inflicts shock, boost. Oh, that takes TP, though. I don't want to have a TP one. Uh, let's set you to... What is Hawkeye? Grants critical power? Oh, that sounds uh, immediate reuse. Oh, that sounds nice. Last 20 seconds. Let's give him that. That sounds like a good aura. We'll give him that. And uh, I'll go ahead and... Um, I level that up. Let me uh, level that up, if I can. Will it let me? Wait a minute. How do you... Hold up. How do I level stuff up? Oh, I press X. My bad. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. In fact, I should just go ahead and use up, like, all my upgrade points. Get this up for him. Uh, and then... Uh, level this up. This looks strong. Oh, no, wait. Do I not have enough? Oh, that's 36. Dang. Uh, are all these 36? Is there anything I can level up for him still? Or am I just gonna... I guess I'm just gonna save up more. Yeah, it looks like everything takes 36. I guess you should go ahead and level up my stuff. Ooh, I got even more than he does. Uh, no, wait, this isn't me. This is, uh... No, wait, yeah, this is me. I didn't... I thought... I don't have a defensive stance, but yes, I do. I just, like, never use it. Uh... Level up my Magnum Edge for sure, because it's really low level and I like using it. Uh, Rising Blade, can I level up again? Whew, 72. Can't level that up. Uh, Tornado Blade, I definitely want up. Incendiary Edge? Oh, these are all new, because I just changed my thing. Right, 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 right. Right. 
Uh, I do like having Magnum Edge. I like having... Yeah, that's the same as it was before. This Incendiary Edge is different, though. It took away my... Uh, I have, like, a bullet shooting one. It shoots a bunch of uh, bullets at once. Deals thermal damage, boosts damage, and melee combos. I don't know if I like that or not. What, uh, what other arts do I have? Furious Blast. That's what I was using before. Medic Free. Boosts debuff resistance and auto-revives on incapacitation. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. In fact, I want that over that. Because I never use that. Um, is there anything else? Some stuff here, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Ah, oh, I can get Blossom Dance. I love Blossom Dance. True Stream Edge. That sounds awesome, too. Uh, Ultra Slash sounds amazing. Looks like my type of backslash. Alright, I need to unlock those, though. So, for now, I don't think I want this Incendiary Edge. Uh, I'll take back the one I had originally, the Furious Blast. And now that I've seen those new arts that I'm going to be getting soon, I kind of want to save my, uh, my battle points until I get those. So I'm going to hold off on leveling stuff up for now. Uh, what do you have, Lin? Flame Cloak, Wild Smash. I should probably, in my spare time, in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. In my spare time, I'm going to look over a bunch of different arts that they have available to them and see which ones are better to have. I'm not going to do that while recording. Uh, I'll look through them all. She actually doesn't have that many. It looks like, actually, uh, she already has all of her best ones. There are some better ones here. Well, they might be better. I don't know. I'm going to read all these in my spare time, and then after I choose the ones that I like most, I'll show you them all next time I record so you can see which ones I've picked, and then I'll use all my uh, battle points to level those up on screen. But uh, I'm not going to go and read through every single... Uh, holy cow, that thing is a tyrant at level 65, and it's hostile. But uh, I'm not going to go through and read them all and compare and contrast them while recording. That's just going to take up a lot of time. Oh, seriously, that thing turned around and saw me. Do you... Why are there so many high-level hostile enemies? They just keep turning and see me. Like, I thought he was running way off. But instead, he just turned around, saw me, and then killed me. Getting really sick of all of these ridiculously high-level enemies just seeing and then killing me. Try and go around the stupid enemy base that has a bunch of level 50s and 60s and then a level 65 wandering random tyrant. They can apparently move really, really fast. Comes up and kills me. There is a probe to set down right there. Hopefully nothing level 1712. 1712? That sounds accurate. But uh, it comes and kills me. Those things are hostile, but they're only level 17. I can beat that thing. Got another little station right here I'm going to run to really fast. Needle Bridge BC. Not bad, not bad. Is this a, This is a time change thing. I don't need to change time. Get up here so I can put down this probe. Get another one of these bad boys put down. Still only level one mechanical. We've only run into like one probe setting thing that was higher level than average. Ah, oh, whatever. All right, so the first herd is over that way, probably across that bridge. I want to hit up whatever this is really fast. Now you see, this is normal. Like level 19 hostiles, it's not a big deal. If that hostile sees me and attacks me, oh look, right here's some. I can take these things on. These things aren't too tough to beat. Those stupid, like, level 50s and 60s, though. Like, what am I ever supposed to... Okay, I'm gonna have to turn around my arts because they're all on the opposite side that they were before. They're, like, reversed. They're on the... Like, the the arts on the right are my physical arts. It used to be the arts on my left were the physical arts. I'm gonna have to do some uh, moving around because that is going to just confuzzle me. I'm too used to them being set around the other way. Die. Die, you fool. That's one dead. Now I just gotta take out this one. Get out of here. I have this. I don't know when I'm gonna use it. It, like, it prevents incapacitation. It, like, gets me up if I go down. So I assume that the best time to use it is to use it right after I, uh, right when I get to low health, when, I'm, when I think I'm about to go down. That's probably the best time to use it. Die, you stupid skunk cat freak of nature. There you go. Easy. Getting close to a level 22. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pick up this mechanical. I, I, was this when I, I got a mining probe G3. Nice. All right. Um, let me move around my arts so that they're back to how they were before because it's confusing me. Uh, I just want to switch these around. Dang it. How is there no easy way to change position? Ah, yes. Okay, I can do that. All right. Uh, I want this at the very edge. No, I want that at the very edge. Put that like that. And then, I don't know why I did it on this side. I want it on this side. I don't like to use the 
burst grenade very much because I like to keep the TP, but occasionally I'll use it. Uh, I want that there, that there. Okay, cool. That should be a lot better. I like that setup better. Awesome. 